Legislative IQ. Increase your legislative intelligence with Florida's policy, budget, and campaign monitoring service. Subscribe today at legislativeiq.com. Enterprise Florida President and CEO Bill Johnson was on the proverbial hot seat. Back in June, he called lawmakers shameful when he was unhappy about his level of funding, and it was clear they hadn't forgotten. The rhetoric on this whole issue needs to be lowered. I do know that some of my comments uh, have offended, and I apologize for that. I'm very passionate about what we're doing. Enterprise Florida, which is chaired by the governor, wants 85 million more from lawmakers. Even if the state closed on every project they're considering hot, it would only cost 44 million, and they've got 118 million in the bank. Some of the 118 million in cash has been promised to corporations who have yet to live up to their promise to create jobs. Lawmakers confronted the CEO over why he needs so much more when he has so much in the bank. Historically, you've never spent more than 19 million in a year. So why do we have an $80 million request when you have money in the bank. During the hour and a half meeting, Johnson was never fully able to justify the need for more money. I want to see specifically what company, how much did we give them, and what's the average salary. The agency also claims the jobs it's brought to Florida pay an average $59,000 a year, but it offered no backup as proof. Reporting from the state capitol, I'm Mike Masalinda.